Coming to you live from Music City, USA, it's Nashville Entertainment Weekly. I'm Chris Burks, along with your host, TJ Case and Jill Sanabanez, who are in the invitation-only studio high atop the city, overlooking everything that is Nashville Entertainment. You got your swagger. No, he ain't got that little clip in his chin. He ain't no way better. Cause you're the baddest country boy. Sweet as sin. We won an award this weekend. We did win an award uh, for iHeartRadio's Chris Trop program. We were voted number one top management because we have Here Nashville, Nashville Artist Management. Top Management, Nashville Entertainment Weekly. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Please request my song, Just a Kiss, on your local radio station. And I'm with Nashville Entertainment Weekly Records. And please check out my website, LizaJMusic.com. Just a phone call asking, hey baby, what you think about Saturday night? It can be anything, anything you want to do. It was just a movie, ice cream, holding hands on the street. Hey everybody, this is TJ Cates with Nashville Entertainment Weekly. We're coming to you from Music Row, Historic Music Row. Our website, NashvilleEntertainmentWeekly.com. I'm with... Jill Santabanez, and who do we have today? Mike Sands. From New York. All the way from New York. He's here in Nashville, guys. This is exciting. Yes. Yes. Now, if you were around the CMA Fest, you probably saw this guy and you just assumed he's from Nashville, Tennessee. He's everywhere. Dude, you were everywhere that we were this weekend. Mm, it's been yes. great. I had a blast. It was a great week. I enjoyed all the events, uh, being with you guys at your events. It's good times. I know. You it were Belcourt Tops with us at Bobby's Idol Hour on Music Row. Yep. Got to meet a lot of great people, a lot of great artists, and they just welcomed me with open arms. They did. I had a great time. Tammany, let's talk about open arms. Tammany Dove, who is a friend of yours, right. friend of ours. We love Tammany Dove. Yes. Love is she the not Dove. the most welcoming yeah, person? Yeah, thank you for referring him, Tammany. Yes. She's so awesome. Great person. Um, she contacts me often and we talk about music and you know what's going on we need a whole bunch we need to clone <laughs> that woman i know let's talk about um let's talk about the song we're going to play what's the name of the song uh this song is called discover love um i think it sums up the cd perfectly about your journey through life 
and uh, it, it makes it a lot better if you discover love somewhere along the way. We did. That's beautiful. You did. You've been married yes. about ten I years. Know. Congratulations yes. to you. We've been together yes. for a few Thank years, you. and we're and yes. uh, we're all really excited about love. To you too. Thank Let's you. sing about Thank love. You have to take the song out. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Mike Sands, a singer songwriter from the New York area, here in Nashville this week to play a song for you on Nashville Entertainment Weekly. With me, I have Mitch Laney on guitar, and we're going to do a song from my new CD, The Ultimate Truth, titled discover love don't go breaking your heart over what might have been you've done it so many times it's in pieces again Looking for them, you get lost and don't know where to turn Finally you make it home with another lesson learned Sometimes we all need a little help to get us through Some days we discover Something we thought that we knew Today I hope you discover love Discover love When we stand at the crossroads No direction seems clear but not making a choice at all Should be our biggest fear Don't look in the mirror at all It can distort your view Get out and see the world And what it sees in you Sometimes we all need Get us through. Some days we discover something we thought that we knew. Today I hope you discover love. Discover love. Open your arms, you'll see. Open your mind, you'll see things you thought were impossible And I'm not one to preach, but I have seen many Ways love can make life wonderful So beautiful, if you are a To discover love, discover love. Sometimes we all need a little help to get us through. Some days we discover something we thought that we knew. Today I Discover love. What a great song. Great now let's song. talk about who played with you today. Uh, accompanying me was Mitch Laney. Uh, he's uh, part of a local band here in Nashville mm -hmm. called St. Luke's Drifters. Yeah, that's a cool name. And uh, I also met him via social media and we've talked uh, for the last year or so and I asked him to accompany me on the show and he gladly agreed. That's yeah, we kind of knew about him. We've been talking to him. So I like everybody. You're Even though you're so far mm -hmm. away from Nashville, you really have your connections with the right people here in Right. Town. Yes. Let's talk about, now you wrote that song. How did you become a songwriter? 
Well, I've been writing on and off since I was young. Um, you know, giving it up a few times along the way, but kept songs kept coming into my head. Inspiration. So I, who who was it? You know, 10, 20 years ago, who were you listening to? Um, well, a lot of Paul McCartney stuff, mm-hmm. um, but I do like a lot of other artists. Uh, Charlie Rich is one of my favorite from artists. From Memphis, Tennessee, where yes. I come from. Oh, yep. very cool. The Silver yes. Fox, I think is what yes, they call him. Yes, one of my favorites. Um, and also a singer-songwriter actually out of New Zealand, if probably a lot of people don't know. His name is Tim Finn. I've and heard he, of Tim Finn. And he's been writing songs since the 70s. I didn't and, know he was uh, from New Zealand. Yes, he's from New That's Zealand. So cool. and New was, Zealand uh, sends out a lot of people in the mm-hmm. world yeah. for such a small area. Yep. And like New so, York. Right, and what I like about your music is it's, it's very genre neutral. Like it doesn't just have like one genre. So how would you describe it? Ah, uh, that's tough <laughs> to describe <laughs> it. Yeah, I, I don't um, set out to write a certain kind of song. Mm-hmm. I just write what comes out of here and here, and uh, you know I like all kinds of music. So, uh, you know, each song on the CD s- sounds different. Some are a little more rock. Some right. are a little more country. So. Um, oh, and we have the CD. Mm-hmm. It's uh, you know. Wait, let me do my, let me do that cool thing I did, <laughs> and now it's stuck in my pocket. Y'all just talk talk between yourselves. For a Here we go. Let's talk about this cover because sure. this is it's so neat. This is yes. different. I think I know the story behind it, but I want to hear it from you. Okay. Well, the it's the cover, cover. Um, I did a kind of uh, Buddhist theme because the ultimate truth is uh, in the Buddhist uh, people. The, they're searching for the ultimate truth. Uh, and becoming enlightened and that's where I got the, the title the ultimate truth from because I feel like I've been on a journey and I'm trying to become enlightened in my own way right and this CD is definitely <coughs> different than your first one in that way yes yeah definitely this one had more of a theme um, you know and the songs were even more diverse on this one than the mm-hmm. first one Let's talk about what you're doing up in New York. Now, what part of New York do you live in? Are we talking about New York State? Are we talking about the city? Yeah, I lived in close to the city for many years, and a couple of years ago, I moved up uh, actually over the border into Connecticut. Really? Oh, wow. So, so nice. I, I That's played. a pretty drastic difference, Connecticut and New yeah, York. Yeah, we, we moved up to the suburbs, mm-hmm. and uh, but I, so I play in a lot of places in New York and Connecticut. I want to hear about the Very places cool. you play up there. That, that's interesting to me. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I got to play at one of the most famous places in Connecticut, which is called Toad's Place. And a lot of big, the Rolling Stones played there years cool. ago. And many other, uh, Bob Dylan has played there. Oh, wow. There. Great songwriter. So mm-hmm. there's a lot of big artists, and they have a big wall, you know, where they list all the people that Are have you played up there? there. No. What? <laughs> they did. No, I'm sure they I, I Take your picture. <laughs> we'll take a picture with us and put it on National uh, Entertainment Weekly. We'll all autograph uh, it. That would and be we'll send great. it to them in a yes. frame. Mm-hmm. Maybe they'll they, go uh, They didn't put me up, but they have invited me back to That's play That's really again. kind of so, a honor, nice. Yes, it was uh, a great show. And I've played in some great places in Manhattan. I just recently played at a place called Lovecraft, which was voted the number one new place in Manhattan. Oh, nice. So that was exciting. We're going to tag these people in New York, and we're going to see if they know what Nashville's all about. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) No, no, I I highly doubt it, but that would be fun. We like what you're doing, man. Let's tell everybody where they can find your music right. and where they can buy the CD. Because you have a great website. Sure. Yeah. Yes, thank you. My uh, website is mikesandsmusic.com. Uh, and you can go out there and there's links where to my CD, which is up on iTunes, CD Baby. Mm-hmm. I am up on Spotify. Oh, Good. that's great. Um, and, uh, you know. Pretty much everywhere. I'm out, yeah, I'm on and you're Facebook, on Twitter. Twitter. Yeah. Yep, so. And all of the links are probably on your website, yes, so everybody definitely. can find you through your website, all yep. your social media pages. I think definitely. I have given you an award for one of the nicest people that we've ever had I on know. the show. Oh, wow. You're like so not <laughs> full of yourself, man. <laughs> and Nashville's all about you have to be full of yourself, yeah. to be noticed, right. you have to be okay. loud. But I knew um, we had you coming in from New York, and then I met you Friday, and it's like, well, God's cool. Mm-hmm. He's just leaving us alone, and then we saw you again Saturday, Sunday, and I'm like, I think that was like really nice. He was, he was expecting. expecting. I've been to New York, dude. It's it's loud up there, and well, I got yeah. a little louder when I was up there. Well, even because I'm from California, he was thinking like, no, you know, you're really down to earth, and I was like, well, thank you. I don't think everybody's like stereotypical to their state. 
Well, I have to tell you, not only am I down to earth, but part of the reason I was so quiet is because I was so impressed with the other people yeah. that you have at these events. Oh, thank that you. I was, I'll appreciate hearing that. you know, worried, oh, wow, I have to go perform no. for these people now. I mean, they, no. they, they, your Everyone's acts different. are just unbelievable. Everybody has a different voice. They have so, a different journey as you speak sure. up. They can bring a different thing sure. to the table, just yeah. like you can. Yeah, so. so we do like having a label. It's really fun. It's, it's yes. fun to have an artist management company, and, mm -hmm. and we like that we can help people with their career and push them up a couple more levels than they could probably reach All different reach kinds of people. Yes. And then we're a footprint for a lot of out-of-town artists that we kind of keep them keep their name and everything right. and but we really do love everybody we have but dude we love your music I yes. really like thank that. you thank and you thank you for a CD no thank you're you you're going to just very autograph much. it for us we don't accept uh, it unless you autograph <laughs> it okay mm -hmm. that can be arranged well thanks so much for your time and I appreciate well, it and you come back to Na Nashville thank Tennessee you. it's wonderful meeting you, you finally Mike meeting you guys alright well have a safe trip back home this has been thank TJ you. Gates with Nashville Entertainment Weekly Jill Santabanez and Mike Sands. Buy his music today. Hi, everybody. This is Jill Santabanez with Nashville Entertainment Weekly, and we're back with another segment with the wonderful... Howard Wiggins of Howard Wiggins Interior Design. And we've had Howard on the show several times. We're so blessed to have him as one of our amazing commercial sponsors and as our Master of Interior Design. How are you today? Just fine, Jill. Thank you. Good. Thank you. So we're going to talk about a few things that um, definitely mistakes people make, uh, especially because hiring an interior designer is just so crucial when you definitely want to focus on of course one room at a time is really important and let's talk about first when you go in and you meet a client what are the steps that you take because salespeople sometimes get it wrong yes Jill uh, last week I had a house call at a 4.5 million dollar house and wow. when I walked in they had everything purchased uh, what little bit they had in the house was from one particular store and what I want to talk about today is you never go into one store and buy everything. Oh, that's interesting. When you hire an interior designer like myself, I can shop all levels mm -hmm. and develop your own personal look and not look like you walked into X brand furniture store. So. Right. And so let's say you're you're actually planning on doing run one room mm -hmm. and you really want to get a certain look, a certain maybe time period what like how do you start because well, you really a, have to get like what you a really lot of like. salespeople when you walk into a furniture store they're working for the furniture store and they mm -hmm. work on commission so they're going to do the best they can to sell you everything from that one store for the, if you walk in and ask for a white sofa they're going to sell you a white sofa when you work with an interior designer i'm going to ask questions that fill your needs and often your needs aren't your wants you don't really know what your needs are and to the white right questions are presented to you so when you work with someone like myself or myself then I'm going to push you to the limit I'm going to make your house look far better than you could ever have on your own because you're not aware of what there is out there you're not aware what really fills your needs you just are influenced by TV and what you've seen right so well let's talk about you had a great example of your mom she's actually <laughs> she's she's had a, a couple of design situations where you actually this is why you got in, into interior design my mother redecorated the house three times in my lifetime when I was there for the 18 years the first time was early American because that was the trend that was going on back then okay. and then she changed it to Mediterranean which looked horrible and then she finally wised up and hired an interior designer and that interior designer did my bedroom in black cream coral and uh, ivory and those are still the colors I love today oh, how he knew that or what it influenced me really influenced my life but the funny story about the whole thing is my dad was on the road and we had I'm talking everything was new the drapes the furniture the TV set there wasn't one thing left that wasn't new he comes in turns on a brand new TV sets go sits in a brand new recliner and didn't say one word and mother <laughs> said don't you notice anything? He said, Ooh. did you get your hair done today? Oh my gosh, <laughs> that is too funny. Yeah. So besides being the master of interior design, you're yes. also the master of color. Now, yes. how, what does that mean exactly? Well, I always win my customers because if you've never heard a designer before in your life, mm -hmm. at least have me over to consult on paint colors. Okay. Because paint colors 
change everything and it has nothing right. to do with money. Just like a woman when she changes her hair, her clothes look different, her face looks different. The th same is true with your room. And most people, they're scared of paint and I don't know why because it's a, like I said, it has nothing to do with money and makes the biggest effect of anything you could possibly do. So you actually have a location here in Nashville and even Pam Till stopped by to see you. I did, it's Gas Lamp 2. It's uh, right across mm -hmm. from 100 Oaks. And uh, Pam Tillis had a lengthy conversation with me at Gas That's Lamp 2. That's so too. neat. Uh, she was, we were talking about color, how I'm the master of color. Right. And she informed me that her mother was an artist and that she was very good with color. And, I love that. And I think she was very impressed. She took two of my cards with her. So often you go into a store and uh, especially women, you know, they compliment you, the salespeople compliment you on what you're wearing, how you look, you know, kind of like small talk to gain your trust. Right. But you actually go about it a different way because you have the knowledge, you have the experience, you have the history Yes. with all of this interior design, colors and everything. So what is your approach so people can just to kind of follow up everything? Well, like I said before, I need to find out your needs, not your want. And okay. that is completely different mm -hmm. and what most people will say at the end of my jobs that I do for them this is better than anything I could have done right of course it is I'm the expert mm -hmm. and I'm going to give you a more timeless look and one that is unique that looks like Jill okay that doesn't look like a furniture store down the street right you know and give you an individual look that's more timeless because it looks like your personality so how can people mm -hmm. contact you? How can they get a hold of you so it's, you can be their master of interior design? It's simple. Just give me a call at 615-854-1468. I'll pick up my phone day or night. I'm up all hours. And you don't Thank just you. cover Nashville? No, I do everywhere. I've, I've done many homes in Florida because mm -hmm. so many people here in Nashville have second homes. And they once I've done one home, they'll have me do another home in some other location. That's so incredible. So everybody contact Howard today. This has been Jill Sanabanez and Howard Wiggins, Howard Wiggins Interior Design. Thank you, Howard. Thank you, Jill. Hey everybody, this is TJ Cates with Nashville Entertainment Weekly Records, Nashville Artist Management. Jill Sanabanez, and who do we have today? Nita Gritty. That's right. Thank you so much for working with us, man. We're so excited. Anytime, His music anytime. video, over 100,000 views, right? Yeah. Dude, he's rolling around. Now, you hit a different market. Now, you, tell us about your background. You actually know a little bit about horses. Yeah, the racking horses. And um, it's the, uh, the gated horse community. And uh, I just love gated horses. It's a smooth ride. It's a right. Cadillac ride. He trains horses. Yeah. Ride. I like the way their feet are always moving, one down and three up. But it's just a smooth ride. I see what you're saying. Oh, yeah. One day I'll come see you at your house and your ranch and I'll come out there and ride the horse. Anytime. This guy's blowing up, guys. You have to check out his song, Three Up, One Down, on the radio. Just got old new shoes. Yeah, when you the biggest champ, you can't lose. It's a win-win situation. No hate, just say congratulations. Your horse is just as good as mine. It's mine. It's something for your horse. Good time. Everybody want a ready made. That's why the horse traders get paid. Hi guys, I'm Olga Alexeyeva. I would love to invite you to check my old gallery. Here we are inside of the gallery and I want to invite you to the place where I've been for almost six years. It's unbelievable. I thought that the time is running so fast and the, uh, you know, my, my vision of art, my vision of life changed. And so I want to show you what actually I you know, what actually my vision is about life right now and about art. I wanted to show you my flowers. I always loved flowers and I think this is very feminine. So with my, <laughs> I would say romantic nature, I always 
want to experiment more with the with the different medium. You know, this is oil. This is mixed media. Uh, so I I kind of always in in search of something new way of self-expressing. So now I experimenting with the gold, with the silver, but something kind of different because I'm always curious about life. I'm curious about uh, some new new results, I would say. So that's why when people come into the gallery, they say, how many artists here? I said, this is all me. They said, no way. Because all artists, they are um, recognized by some certain way, some certain style, I would say. So I don't want to limit myself with the one style. I would like to experiment with the different um, with the different mediums and different subjects, I would say. And so that's why I'm, I'm so curious. I thought, well, life is short. And um, why not to try that? Why not to try this? So that's why I'm just like psh, all over. And um, I don't know, if somebody don't like it, so be it. You know that I'm teaching classes. And, but interesting fact, when I started to teach, it was not because I wanted to teach, because people started to ask me, can you teach me? And I thought, well, I'm not a teacher, but I can share. And now, after the about five years of teaching, I am absolutely sure that everybody can paint. Everybody have the greatness inside. And so, if you say, I never touched the brush, I said, you are my girl or my guy, because something was inside of you. If you can appreciate art, if you can see some, beauty around you. If you say, hey, this is a good piece of art, you can create it and I can help you to create it. So that's why I'm now I do twice a week, twice a week uh, Friday and Sunday classes and without any previous experience, I would love to start your journey in art. This unique space could be used for events. So we have about um, 50 people capacity and uh, I would love to host your event. It could be a private event, it could be business meeting, or it could be wine testing, or you know, pretty much any kind of reception. So we have piano, we have a sound system, and uh, just have something different in um, your event planning. Follow me on Instagram. All Gallery Art Nashville, where I put all my new stuff, my events, my new work, uh, video about my classes, as well as my website, allgalleryart.com. Thank you. Swagger. No, he ain't got that little clip in his chin.